Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where I like to look at various events that happened in historically um, related to this week. And we're starting this week with a serious story, but worth mentioning. The Great Kanto Earthquake occurred on September 1st, 1923. This was a very uh, uh, dark time. It was a uh, major earthquake, uh, killed many, many people, destroyed huge amounts of uh of japan and was uh, uh an industrialized japan uh and japan was still on its uh, on its way to to industrialization and uh this was a, a a major blow also important for anime because uh the nascent anime industry was badly affected um pretty much all of the existing uh animations at the time burned in the fires of the Great Kanto Earthquake uh, because there's just only so many copies around and so many different fires. Uh, if you've seen The Wind Rises, Hayao Miyazaki's uh, recent film, relatively recent film, uh, there's a whole sequence in there of the Great Kanto Earthquake. Uh, and it was a, 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 a major thing for, for anime and for Japan in general. And it's one of the reasons why September 1st in Japan is National Disaster Prevention Day, when people get together and uh, uh, run through disaster preparedness uh, events and make sure everyone's ready in the case of a terrible event like that happening in the future. So worth noting and remembering. Moving on to a definitely later uh, topic than that. September 4th, 1963 was the premiere of Hermit Village, a uh, an anime series uh, uh, that was only 12 episode 12 minute episodes. But it was the first late night anime TV series, so it's a little bit more for the grown ups in terms of its material. Exactly. Um, and yeah, and we, we mean it that way. This is the story of various amorous adventures of this, the, the main character here. Um, very you know, fantastical, but still playing around with, uh, with various amorous advances and, and amorous plot lines involving those things. Um, definitely nothing explicit. But uh, um, uh, playing around with things, and we talked about this uh, earlier, somewhat like uh, the, the cartoons and like Playboy and things along those lines, where uh, uh, sort of sexiness, but more uh, more uh, implied uh, than than actual. And worth noting that for all of the you know the Doraemons and the Astro Boys and the Gigantors in the 1960s, we also had this, right? That was also a thing. All the way back. Goes all the way back. <laughs> exactly. You know. It, it, it's, you know, sex sells. Um, moving on, uh, about a decade to 1972. Uh, in September of 1972, Studio Sunrise was established. Um, I have not been able to find the date. People have just said, yeah, sometime in September. It came together. Um, I think it kind of depends on how you define, like, when they incorporated versus when they got together and when, you know, all those sorts of things. Um, Sunrise was founded by a group of animators who came out of Tezuka's studios primarily and were a little um, frustrated with Tezuka's uh, uh, sort of command and control approach where the stuff made uh, at Tezuka's work were Tezuka's works and he was very much controlling those things and very much the, the artistic vision and they wanted a more democratic uh, approach to animation and they also wanted to focus on mecha because mecha was a really big thing in the um, uh, at the time and they said hey let's let's try to specialize in the way that uh, you know mechanical things particularly giant robots move and so we can kind of become uh, become known for that uh, and it is still a, uh, a very important thing at sunrise that they have have sort of this democratic view in fact if you watch some sunrise anime series you'll often see in the credits, uh, under planning, uh, a uh, the name Hajime Yatate uh, is the planner for dozens and dozens of Sunrise anime series. That's actually a pseudonym, which roughly translates as "all of us." Uh, it is basically a a pseudonym for all of them working together, and the works at Sunrise are much more collaborative uh, in intent, whether it uh, works out that way all the time. But they, they try to be very collaborative with their works over at Sunrise. So. Uh, definitely an important anime studio. They made this little show called Gundam. I don't know if you heard of that one. 
Uh, they did Love Live and a bunch of other things as well, I believe. So, uh, uh, very cool. Sun- Sunrise exists because of September 1972, and of folks deciding to do things differently with the internet. 